So, have you ever wondered who was the first YouTuber to hit the major subscriber milestones? YouTube was created on February 14, 2005 by these three gentlemen. Two months later, the first YouTube video is uploaded by one of the site's co-founders. One month later, YouTube is launched in public beta. At the end of the year, the duo Smosh creates their channel, and in the following month YouTube is officially launched. We arrived in 2006. In less than six months after being created, Smosh becomes the first channel to reach 1,000 subscribers. In July, Smosh, Brookers and an electronic music duo Misto and Peasy are the main candidates to be the first to reach 10,000 subscribers. And although it cannot be confirmed, there is evidence that Brookers was the first. On August 4th, Peter Oakley, known online as Geriatric1927, starts a channel of his own, and in less than 21 days, it becomes the first channel to reach 20,000 subscribers. However, by the end of the year, Brie, a 16-year-old video blogger stands out, and her channel, called Lonely Girl 15, becomes the first to reach 50,000 subscribers. But nothing was as it seemed. Teenage Brie was actually an actress named Jessica Rose, as the general public would later find out. After a chaotic 2006 in terms of subscribers, a new year begins. During the second quarter of 2007, Smosh returns to the spotlight and becomes the first to reach 100,000 subscribers. By the end of 2008, Nigahiga passes Smosh, but Fred comes out of nowhere and passes Nigahiga. Like Lonely Girl 15, Fred was also a fictional character. He was a YouTube character portrayed as a six-year-old boy by Lucas Cruikshank. In 2009, Fred maintains the leadership, and in April, he is the first to reach 1 million subscribers. Almost a year later and for the first time, a channel reaches 2 million subscribers. It was Ryan Higa's Nigga Higa channel. Ryan Higa who is known for his comedy videos. On November 15, 2011, Ray William Johnson, best known for his Equals 3 web series, in which he made humorous commentary on viral videos, is the first to reach 5 million subscribers. In less than two years later, that number is doubled by Smosh, who returns to the spotlight again, this time to become the first to reach 10 million subscribers. And just in less than eight months later, that number is doubled, this time by PewDiePie, who is the first in YouTube's history to reach 20 million subscribers. At this time, he also begins to increase his huge advantage over everyone else. That advantage would make him the first to reach 50 million subscribers at the end of 2016. Still in 2014, Geriatric1927, the man who had become YouTube's first channel to reach 20,000 subscribers in 2006, passed away in March at the age of 86. As of March 2017, T-Series starts to grow fast, and in mid-2018 it's already close to PewDiePie. That's when the rivalry between the two YouTube channels begins and they start to compete for the title of the most subscribed YouTube channel. In the race to be the first channel to reach 100 million subscribers, T-Series surpassed PewDiePie, but PewDiePie regained the lead. However, who ended up winning was T-Series, becoming the first channel to reach 100 million subscribers in May 2019. In the lead ever since, T-Series would end up being the first channel to reach 200 million subscribers two and a half years later. Who do you think will be the first channel to reach 300 million subscribers?